Okay guys, so one of our last videos was about planting our organic seed potatoes that we get from Wood Prairie Family Farm in Maine. Um, but today I went to go make some breakfast potatoes and realized that my breakfast potatoes... So I'm going to go ahead and plant them like I did last year and we'll have a comparison. Did the organic seed potatoes do better than the grocery store? Last year it was really hard to tell. The seed potatoes did do better, but all of the potato plants had what we thought might have been blight. We just weren't sure. So I don't feel like we really got an accurate harvest on either one. So I am going to get these in the ground. We'll put them in this bed over here um, where the blueberries are, which is right here. That's kind of right up on the back of the house. And I'll put them down here. Probably just, sorry about the shadows. So I want to show you real quick because I'm doing something that's a little bit atypical. I'm just planting the entire whole potato. I'm not cutting it up into pieces where every, like a lot of times, you'll have a potato that has all these different eyes coming out and you'll cut it into different sections and then plant each one. We've done it both ways. Honestly, the last two years when we've planted the whole potato and not cut them up, they do better than the ones that we've cut up. So it's my belief system. It's not really worth that extra step. And we just toss the whole thing in. This is what that looks like. Just full on potatoes and we'll just cover them up with dirt. Like there's a row right there. The other thing that I want to mention about this dirt, if I can get in there and show you without my hat and my shadow, is this was red clay three years ago. And now, and that is a result of massive cardboard and wood chips breaking down. So that's kind of awesome. It's taken a minute, but it's really cool to see it pay off and work because this bed, the first year we planted in it, we planted a bunch of cabbage seedlings and they did not even grow. And I realized later the ground was so compacted and so hard that I don't think the root system could get out. So to see it this loose and um, well draining is just amazing. So let me show you what I just found because I was covering up that row with dirt. Say hi to Dawn. Hi, you're on camera. Hi. I was just covering up this row. Look, you guys, this is one of the potatoes from last year that I guess we missed. Ha! So, that's incredible. And they do store in the dirt, which is something that kind of makes them nice. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Look at that. It's gonna be delicious for somebody, <laughs> for one of us. One of the things that's nice about the potatoes and carrots and some of the other crops that'll store is that even though they may all come to um, harvest time around the same time, they can stay in the dirt. So you don't have the pressure of processing and getting everything put up all at once, which is not this what's the deal is with cucumbers and tomatoes. When your cucumbers come, you better harvest them right then or you lose them. And when you have a full-time job and two teenagers like we have, sometimes, you know, that really gets overwhelming. And so it's nice to have these crops that you can go and pull out as you want to eat them. Um, obviously, we did not mean to leave that in there for a year, but what a fun surprise. So I'm going to tell on myself for a minute and those of you in my uh, Georgia Backyard Gardening Facebook group, you already know what a moron I am. I've been really trying to learn more about soil this year because I think I really didn't understand it as well as I could have when we started this journey. So the reason that I didn't plant the potatoes in this bed yesterday was because there's all this white stuff in the dirt. So I took a picture of it and posted it on the Facebook group and was like, who can tell me what this is? It turns out it's like good. That's what you want. But I didn't know that. I thought there was like a fungus or there was something wrong. And then I'm a life coach. <laughs> and one of my clients who I didn't even realize was on the Facebook group was like, Claire, that means you have good soil. You want that. Um, so that actually made me really excited because again, I'm just so used to thinking of this bed as like, not good draining, heavy, heavy impacted soil that, you know, for her to say that, oh, and I should mention she's an arborist, so she knows her crap. Um, in fact, she, her name is Christy Patterson Bryant and her company here in Atlanta, Metro Atlanta is a speak, speaking for the trees. 
I believe is what it's called. And she's amazing. But um, it was just kind of funny. You know, you have those moments where you're like, all right, even when you think you kind of have it going on, you still don't. I don't, I don't know that we ever will. We're always learning. So um, for all of you more experienced gardeners who saw that post on Facebook, I hope I gave you a good giggle. And um, thank you for your feedback because now I'm more confident planting these potatoes here. So. so before I wrap it up, let me just show you. I dug deeper. See, that's the clay. That's the Georgia red clay we all know and love. That's what this whole bed started out as. And look at the difference over there where I just planted all those potatoes. So if you watch future garden videos and you notice that we have cardboard laying down all over the place, that's what we're doing. We are just really trying to work on building the soil because we want to be good stewards of the earth that we were blessed with. We want to be able to be as self-sufficient as possible and grow as much food as we can. Um, and it just takes a little bit of effort, you know, it's not a quick fix, but I am totally a believer in the cardboard and wood chip method. So if you've been on the fence about whether or not that's something that you want to take the time and energy and investment to do, please, please try it out and let us know how it goes for you. All right. Thanks you guys for watching. We love every week, a couple of times a week, being able to share our journey with you. We love the fact that you guys comment and share your journeys with us. Um, it's really a fun community. And um, if you got any tips for me, as always, give me a comment. Bye.